what time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. And it's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K O I Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. And it's time to get this little review started. Alright, if y'all don't know, I love me some Cobra Kai. Yes, I've been watching the seasons, not since it came on Netflix when everybody wanted to jump on the boat. Oh no, I've been watching the Cobra Kai since it was on the YouTube Premium, right? Since season one, you know I've been there from the beginning. So this is why you're going to come to get your Cobra Kai news. the Netflix, I got a screener. And let me tell you, it starts out right where it ends. Miguel's in the hospital up in a coma now, right? He's after the little fight up in the school when he fell and, well, not just fell, the Robbie that, kicked that part right there when you hear like the crack and everything, can't even handle it. But he, now he's in the hospital in the coma. Robbie's on the run. Nobody knows where Robbie is. He's, he's done taking off, you know. Then you got Johnny and they, they all feeling guilty about what happened because, you know, it was like their two, you know, dojos against each other in town and or against each other in school and they just started that big old riot up in the Chris. school kind of took over the Cobra Kai dojo, right? Johnny's like out. He is out of this. John Kreese took over. And you know, like from the, the ending of this one, you can just tell this season, the new season, it brings out the worst in all the characters, especially one of the ones is, you know, the hawk. Remember season one when you was like, oh, the poor hawk, he got his little cleft lip and everything and you rooting for him. And, and then he just gets worse and worse and worse. Well, now these Cobra Kai people are under you know, to train another crease. How worse is going to get now? Oh, I'm telling you, it does. This season really brings out the worst in like all the, all of the characters. You thought it got bad before. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Like some parts, I can't even tell you because I was like cringing. Well, information still under embargo. I'm telling you, a lot of information still. So I can't like reveal some of the big plot points and all that. I wouldn't want to. I don't want to spoil that for y'all. But what I am going to do as I watched the season, I recorded a little things, my little reactions after every episode for y'all. I they moved up the date to January 1st. So starting this Friday, Cobra Kai is going to be on Netflix. And I'm going to start releasing my little reactions after every episode because it's good. It is good. And some of these episodes, just like before, it leaves you like, what? It might bring back some old characters, you know, Karate Kid Part 2. Remember, he goes over there, over he goes over to to Japan over there and, and falls in love with the girl. Well, you'll even see that girl, right? What was her name? I don't even remember, but she was cute. She had her hair up like that. <laughs> so she makes a little, some appearances. So if you're a Karate Kid Part 2 fan, you're going to love some of this, uh, some of these episodes because it totally brings out back those memories. You know, one of my favorite things about this Cobra Kai season is that it doesn't just have like the karate right that you like you like the current you like seeing them doing their little moves and and always you know it's it's the the underdogs against the the powerful mean karate guys you like all that but the comedy i'm telling you some of the lines that they'll throw out just will out of nowhere and have you cracking up now to be honest i love season one that's when it hooked me in season two was good it was slow at parts, and I was like, uh, oh, some of it dragged. I think I said that in my review before, that some of it dragged. But then, what, it, it dragged, 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 and then at the end, you were just like, bam. This season, I feel like, just brings it back. Brings it back to the original. This was a great season, season three. I liked it much better than season Why two. Why do they always do this one in the season with, like, cliffhangers, where you're like, what just happened? That's how it does this. It, it it just has this pining for more because now I'm like, where's season four? I need to know things. What happened? And you know, I can't give the spoilers, but that's what I said. Starting Friday, I'm going to start giving a little reaction to every little season. So be on the lookout. I can't wait. I know you can. It, you can't either. And in the meantime, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time. Mwah. Bye.